Welcome to part one on using AutoCAD 2014 tutorial. Let's begin. The first thing you'll notice when you launch AutoCAD 2014 is your workspace. The workspace can be divided up into several different sections. For this introduction, I'll highlight some of the ones that you'll use the most. First, you have your main ribbon. The main ribbon contains the tools in AutoCAD that you'll be using. The main ribbon is always divided up into several different tab menus. You can also change the user interface, and we'll talk about that later. The main ribbon contains several different tool sets in AutoCAD. For example, the draw tool set. In this tool set, you'll find the commands to draw lines, polylines, circles, and other shapes. Next to that, you'll find the modify tool set that contains such commands as move, rotate, trim, copy, mirror. There are several other tool sets on the home menu, and depending on which user interface you're using, that can change. On each different tab, there's a different collection of tool sets. For instance, if you wanted to dimension a drawing, you'd go to the Annotate tab. Next, you'll see the user interface. You can change this depending on what type of drawing you're trying to do. If you're trying to just do a 2D drawing, you'd probably want to keep it on drafting and annotation. The drafting and annotation interface is usually used in two-dimensional drawings. It keeps the most commonly used commands on the home tab. Other commands are still available, they're just not visible in this tab. The 3D Basics user interface adds some of the basic 3D features such as Extrude, Loft, and Sweep to the Draw and Modify menus. Like in other user interfaces, you can use the other commands by typing them into the command line, switching tabs, or switching to a different user interface. The 3D Modeling user interface has pretty much everything. Anything you would want for 3D modeling, that is, and probably some of the stuff that you don't. I would suggest switching to this user interface once you've gotten more familiar with the other ones. Below you'll find the command line. The command line is from the earliest versions of the CAD programs. You can type in a command such as draw line and have the same result as clicking the line button on the toolbar or selecting the item from a pull down menu. You can also learn time saving abbreviations such as Z for zoom or PE for polyline edit. These are called macro commands. Commands will be given to you as needed later on. The function tabs at the bottom or the drawing status bar can be used to quickly toggle commonly used applications on and off such as the ortho command which allows lines to be only vertical or horizontal and the o snaps. There are also macro commands on the keyboard to toggle these on and off, usually using the function keys. The navigation bar contains commands that will help you move around your project such as zooming, panning, orbit, and the new steering wheel. The view cube allows you to quickly snap to the six sides of your models such as the front, top, left, and so on and the in-between views, such as the top front or the isometric views. Up to the top you'll notice the quick select menu. This menu contains commands that you'll use pretty often in almost every drawing, such as the new, open, save, and plot buttons. Next to that is the application menu, which is pretty much like the old file pulldowns. You can use this menu to save, export, or open new drawings. It also has a quick select for your most recently worked on drawings, 